Andrew, we're here at TGM. We've come to look at all the Herco machines that you've got here, and we're going to look at some of the parts that you've been machining. I think what I'm, I'm interested in to start with is your interpretation of this VMX 42SR Ti. Why you bought it, and it's slightly different as a five-axis machine, isn't it? A lot of it is the, the scope of the work that we do. So um, I just see this, this type, of, the size of this, of this part is perfect for the envelope of the machine. Um, we, it's capable of, of what on one side we can do the, the, the first stop of it and then um, use the, the, the five axis uh, envelope so that we can machine the OP2 and the OP3. Now this, this part can be done, is done as a, a billet prep um, so it's simple just blocking up, putting a couple of threaded holes in for the fixtures and then uh, we make two at a time so two so we make one of one hand one of the other um, so we do all this side first and then uh, if you imagine the, the mirror of it and then once that's done that goes on a fixture and we do all this inside and it's all done. Two. Like a three may not, like it's a billet prep and two may not, yeah to do that five axis part. You've got other five axis machines here in the machine shop, but this, as I said already, is a slightly different style of machine in the fact that it looks very much like a, a kind of three, four axis machine with the five axis capability. Is that the difference that you see and is that what you liked about it? Yeah, that's, uh, it, it's, it gives you flexibility of using it as a three axis or a five. So like sometimes it's not even worth setting up uh, a three axis job on a five axis machine. So this, so, it's like the best of both, so as long as you can fit your job on the envelope, then why not use it? You know? this, this table in here, this is the C-axis, correct? Yes. That, you, you've got a fixture plate on top of there, have you? Is that just to give you extra height on your component? Uh, that's to, it's a metrics plate so that we can uh, locate the parts in a specific part, in a specific place every time. So it's good for repeatability and the setup times. So. Oh, you need the height to raise it up and then you need your pillars to raise it up because of the head. When it goes over at 90 degrees, it needs space to be able to get to the, uh, to the job without fouling on the, on the, on the table. That C-axis though, um, Andrew, here, is that sitting flush with the top of the fixed table if you take your fixture plate off? Uh, no, the, the C-axis is about half a milli lower than the, than the the, the, the rest of the tenon table. And would you take that off then and then use, get the benefit of using the whole of this as a, you know, let's say a metre, you could put a, a plate on there, for example? Yeah, you, you could take it off and, uh, and, and you could do whatever size of the size of the envelope of the whole table if you wanted to, yeah. And, and is this the main reason that you went, because you've got other five axis machines, like I've said, and they, they, are, they are the different style of machine. What was the, the reason that this was the selection? Oh, it's, the, it's the capability of being able to use it as a five-axis machine or a three-axis machine. Just gives you a bit more flexibility, that's all. And the, the new control on this, this is the new Max 5 control. You've, yeah. got, you've got the double screen. It's a Windows-based control. Yeah. Is it more powerful? Is it faster? Because Herco are very well known for their, their conversational programming. Yeah, as far as conversational, I mean, it's evolved over the years. Um, and the whole touchscreen and the... And, the things that you can do with that that you can't do with the old uh, Winmax um, capability. And even if you've got the old control, the program still fit perfectly into here? Uh, as long as it's not got the five axis element to it, because I think that is a new, uh, set, it's a different setup because each five axis machine has a different instructions from the post. So you re really, you would need a post or, you'd or you would program it conversationally. What about Herco in general for you here? It's a wash with Herco machines, everything from the from the, the, the smaller machines up to the DCX. That was the first in Europe, I believe, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the first in Europe, that DCX, yeah. Uh, so tell us about the Herco and what, why there is so many of their machines here. What, how, how, how are they seen by your business compared to the other machines that you've got? Well, we do a lot of small batch work. So to be able to program conversationally or, or NC, it'll take either, it doesn't really matter, but um, to program conversationally or make any tooling, which we do a lot of, they are the perfect machine for it because it's so easy. You can knock up a, a program to do some kind of blocking up or put some holes in, or you can do it in literally five minutes. Whereas NC, it might take you a bit longer, and then you've got to pause it down. And it's a good advert for seeing that Herco machines 
last the journey because you've got some older machines here as well, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of them, uh, I mean, I've been here for like 19 years and uh, no, not the, none of the original ones are here. They've gone. Um, yeah, the, the older ones there, they'd say they're about 15 years old and they're still absolutely solid. Still hitting tolerances and machining every day. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay, by looking at some of the work you do as well, it's not not the easiest. I mean, some of the parts are apps. I mean, they as a, as an engineer, they really are beautiful, aren't they? Some of the yeah, parts you're making. Yeah, it makes some stunning parts. Yeah. And if you do ever have a, a concern or an issue, Herco get out straight away. Do they to uh, to sort any problems out? I know they're well well equipped with service engineers. Um, world class, I would say. Wait, well, I think the longest we've ever wasted wasted is two days for an engineer to come and sort our machine. That's that's brilliant. For, a, for, a, for a, when you're trying to run a factory and you've got urgent jobs going on, the last thing you want to do is wait in a week. A week in production time is so expensive. So if, if you can get an engineer, that can, most of the time you can ring them up and they'll be there in the morning. But the longest we've ever had to work is two days. So you can't fault them on that at all.